Good morning guys, how are you? Long time no chat. I have a conference call in like an hour so I said I'd hop on here and do a little vlog for you guys to see how you're all keeping. I put up my latest vlog yesterday and so many of you guys left me lovely comments. I was like reading through them all this morning, they were so nice, mostly talking about my hair. I'm not gonna go into too much kind of like chat about that again cause hello we've been on a bit of a journey with the hair and the last thing I wanted to do was keep ranting on about it. But anyway, so many of you guys are like, oh my god, your hair is so much nicer, shorter. So I want to say thank you so much to all of you who said that because I think my hair is probably like my biggest like insecurity by times. Hence, hence why I get like hair extensions and stuff like that. Because I just feel like because it's so itty bitty and fine and everything like that. And I just feel like it's never going to grow. You guys saying all that was like so cute. Like thank you. So I was reading through all my comments and I actually had like the nicest comments ever. I was sitting in my boyfriend's yesterday when I uploaded the video. And I was just sitting there reading through the comments. And like I was even telling him I was like they're so cute. Like they're so nice. So thank you. Um, for your lovely comments. I really appreciate them and I read all of them. So I don't always get to respond to every single one of them, but I do read them all. There's a couple of like things that I guess since the last time I was vlogging have happened. Obviously, unless you're living under a rock, you've heard about poor George Floyd and the whole situation that's going on with that and the BLM, Black Lives Matter. There's been protests here in Ireland, protests all over the US. And to be honest, I had like a little bit of knowledge in regards to the treatment of black people in certain countries like I'm not like completely tone deaf and I'm not stupid when it comes to racism Um, I just felt like it was best for me to kind of post as much as I could on Instagram at that time and then like take a little bit of time away to actually research and look up stuff and read things in regards to black people's lives in America not only in America but like worldwide I guess and their treatment and stuff like that and the court system is kind of like the thing that I'm kind of like going down the rabbit hole of and the treatment of people in regards to the law and the courts and it is a whirlwind I tell you so I'm going to link everything down below of like petitions and all information that I've gathered myself a really helpful podcast that I was listening to kind of like books and stuff that I haven't actually gotten around to reading myself obviously and some interesting Netflix documentaries that I've watched as well in my free time because I understand like not everybody has like time to actually read maybe like an audible might be helpful or looking at Netflix or something like that might be helpful or like me podcasts I just eat podcasts up so I've been definitely educating myself a lot more my eyes are well open to stuff that's going on and kind of stuff that's always gone on even in Ireland like as small as the country is I've like been reading up things um, in regards to racism and especially in particular schools here in Ireland there's been certain schools that have come under the limelight but if the stuff is true which I kind of think it is <laughs> it's crazy and just so like just horrible like it just shouldn't be happening but um I urge you guys to educate yourself, especially if you're not really sure what to say, what to post, what to spread awareness in regards to. And they're the only links that I can kind of think of because they're the only things that I've been doing. But I thought it was important before I kind of get into anything just to kind of say that because I don't really want you guys thinking that like, things are going over my head or I'm not even with it today in today's world. But I am. It's just I don't want to say too much without having like my facts straight, educating myself, seeing kind of treatment of black people. And it's not only a black people thing, it's like people of colour in general because I was reading a whole thing about a girl who is mixed race and just the comments that she would get and then also from, you know, both sides. I just wanted to start off by saying that. I've donated myself, but one thing I did want to say just about donating is be careful where you're donating to. I have seen some spurious random websites and random kind of like GoFundMes and random things pop up and just be careful of where you're actually donating to. So that's why I said I'll leave a link to a place that I went through to try and find places to donate to safely um, so that you know you're not being frauded out of money because that is a thing that I actually hate when there's like times of like turmoil even like during the pandemic and stuff People are always willing to take advantage of other people who want to help or want to do good things for society or whatever. And there's always someone out there who's trying to pull pull a fast one. And I just hate that. But like, that's just the world that we live in. It's just, 
human nature as it is just be careful of where you are actually donating to and just do your research on it and make sure that it's legit and that you're not been like I said frauded out of money I am educating myself and before I actually want to go on a spiel I want to make sure that I have my facts straight that I'm pretty educated on what I'm talking about or as educated as I could be before I start saying things that you know are unhelpful so I wanted to say that first the second thing I wanted to say is um, on a little bit of a lighter note Ireland seems to be kind of getting a little bit not back to normal but we're kind of getting in the process of getting back to a little bit of normality somebody did ask me that in my last video like what's Ireland like now is it like back to normal no <laughs> not by any means is it back to normal the virus is still in Ireland there's still people dying every day from it which is horrendous and there's still people getting it every day um like yesterday nine people in the country contracted it and nine people died that's nine families who are devastated today it's still in the country it's not so much in the community i think what they're saying about that is community transmission is actually quite low or non-existent it's kind of contained to like nursing homes hospitals frontline workers stuff like that which is really really sad people who are trying to do the best work or the people like our grandparents and the people that we love so much are the people that are actually passing away from it or contracting it. But anyway, Ireland has lifted a 20k travel restriction. So we were only go able to go two, then we were able to go five, then we were able to go now we're able to go 20, but also we're allowed to travel within the county. So that's kind of good as well. So you can go all over the county. And then if you're on the border of the county, you can go 20 kilometers over it. So realistically, I know it sounds like ugh. I understand what they're trying to do but I think it's stupid having a 20k restriction or a travel ban like just be clever when you get to where you're going wash your hands keep your social distance stuff like that you know don't be visiting 20 people in a day and you know hanging around with people that you're you don't really know and like up close and personal with people you know what I mean it's just clever so I don't get the travel restriction I understand there's parts of Ireland that have no COVID and then there's parts of like we'll say Dublin for instance that have higher levels of it and places like Cavan but like just be clever when you get to where you're going that's all I can kind of take from this whole situation like Paddy and I went to the Phoenix Park a couple of days ago and we're just like you know clever about what we're doing kept our social distance anytime I go to the supermarket keep my social distance make sure that I'm washing my hands using hand sanitizer all that kind of jobs I don't like I just think the 20 20k restriction is just silly but anyway my sister also got offered a job which is great she's gonna be working in town as a dental nurse which is great because she was kind of like when traveling as you guys know and she left her job and now she's gotten a new one so she's delighted with herself and what's the other thing oh I got an interview for my permanent position with the government which is quite good but they said that the permanent positions or the interviews are not going to go ahead until there's like a vaccine or less cases in Ireland so I'm hoping to get my interview pretty soon so it's looking like I could have a permanent job within the maybe not within my department but definitely within the government which is nice I hadn't kind of thought too much about it I just applied for it because I was like ah sure look if I get it I get it if I don't I don't could be kind of like a route that I go down I don't know who knows I don't know because I could go for the interview and they're like nah well, you're not what we want so I don't know what's gonna happen but as of now I kind of told you guys that I'm gonna be working um, in my department until the end of September a lot of people ask what I do actually what I'm doing is I don't mean to sound like so annoying but it's actually confidential <laughs> like I can't talk about it I can't even talk about it with my family with, with what I'm doing I'm dealing with a court case so a lot of the stuff is confidential that's all I can kind of say about it so I'm not being like an absolute ass not telling you what I'm doing because bleh. but I actually can't I'm I had to like sign a, a confidentiality thing and a, a clause that's what it was that I can't talk about what I'm doing other than with the people in my department and my boss in my department which is kind of crazy but like you know that's that's the way it is so I'm I'm not trying to purposely ignore what you guys are asking but I just can't talk about it and some people have asked me is it completely different to nutrition yeah like I'm working on like a high profile court case it's really interesting I really like it and I just like having like workmates and 
it's just nice to be part of like a team as well like I really do enjoy it it's a part of YouTube that I don't get I don't really find that team effort because I do feel like a lot of people are like pitched against each other in this like industry because it's like you're better than her and she's better than you and he's better than him and he's better than her and she's better than him and I don't like that but sometimes that is kind of what comes with been on YouTube and then sometimes people use you because they think that you can give them something like I don't know more followers or something like that and then sometimes people are just you know they're just gonna be a bit nasty and think that I don't know anyway I'm getting on to a rant here but like YouTube does not offer me a work colleague situation which is sad and it's a thing that I've missed because when I left the pharmacy that I was working in as a nutritionist um, I just missed the girls I missed them so much and I missed having like my clients patients whatever you want to call them come in to me every week um and i missed kind of helping so i think that's kind of like an area that i i do really enjoy obviously youtube i do help people but it's not a one-on-one -on -one thing so it's kind of like a bit of a bummer and i was even thinking of going back to nutrition then all this like pandemic thing kicked off and then i was like got offered the temporary job and i just really really like it anyway i got a little bit of a zara haul this morning for you is I have three items it's not really a haul but I just got a delivery and I also got a rituals delivery yesterday and I just put the stuff over there and I'll show you that as well one of my followers actually wrote to me on Twitter so I want to thank her so much for saying that rituals is now sold in boots if you guys do or do not know rituals is one of my favorite skin like skin products bath products I'm obsessed with rituals especially the ritual of Shakura it's my favorite but um just in case you guys didn't know but thank you very much for telling me it's now in boots yeah so I literally got three items in Zara that is all let's open them so the first thing I got was I don't know if you guys have seen my last Zara haul I'll link it if you haven't but I got this I'll probably actually do a full-on Zara haul because I have other stuff coming but um I got this black top I have it in white I have it in Ooh, what's that like fluff I have it in black I have it in white I have it in blue I love it and I have it in a khaki green it's my favourite favourite top I just love the shape of it the ruching of it if they brought this out in like I don't know like yellows and greens and purples I would probably buy every single colour because it is the most comfortable comfortable and flattering top ever so I love it and it's only like seven seven ninety five, I think oh the tag is not on it hmm that's a bit annoying. Could have been a return from someone else. Who knows? Um, but then I got these jeans. Jean shorts. Um, oh, there's the tag. Something happened to it. Yeah, they're $7.95. And that's the code on them. Just if you're wondering. Oh, focus for me. Or don't focus. There you go. There's the code. But I'll link them down below. And then I got these shorts. These are Bermuda shorts. I haven't tried these on. They do look a little bit large in the waist. I got a size... 36 which I believe is a size yeah they're a size 8 the thing with these is I wanted them kind of bigger and oversized around the like just around the leg and stuff I'm mostly 6 in all of Zara's trousers but I just wanted them kind of a little bit baggier but who cares they're shorts like for the amount of time I'm going to be wearing them I love like when the little Zara thing there I don't know I'm really fun about that but they're so nice and I do like um, the Bermuda shorts that are out at the moment and they're particularly nice I've seen a couple of people wear them on Instagram and then I got this little bag guys this is the worst thing about buying on Zara online because you can't really tell. I know it gives you the dimensions and everything, but I hear I wasn't getting my ruler out. I think Paddy was driving us to the park and he made it a Zara, like a very spontaneous Zara order. But um, this is the bag and as you can see, it's like the size of my hand. It's really teeny tiny. I should have probably known by the price or whatever, but I should have read the dimensions on it. It's perfect for like if you're going to the shop and you just have like a couple of bank cards in there and maybe a lipstick or something but I cannot fit my phone in it I can't fit anything in it it is so teeny tiny it's really cute it'd be great like for like a festival or something it's more like a coin bag definitely something I would bring out um if I was going on a night out you know in on holidays or something because I don't generally bring my phone with me on holidays on nights out um I don't really bring my phone many places these days I just can't be bothered with it and all the stuff that does come in in it but um yeah it's just really teeny tiny so there's not going to be much fitting in there but I couldn't resist the pattern on it and the holographicness and just like the key and I just really liked it so I don't know 
probably one of the most ridiculous purchases because of the size of it, but um, I'll probably use it. I'm not going to return it. It's 17 euro. It probably costs like a fiver to return. For the sake of 15 euro, I think I'll hang on to it. It is quite cute, but definitely read up on dimensions when you are buying things online because they can come like this. So I set all my little ritual stuff up here. Um, I'll show you exactly what I got. I didn't get that from Rituals. That's actually from when I went to China and I found it and it had never been opened. So I was like, what the hell? Um, it's obviously a serum. But I bought the Rituals of Shakura. That's my favourite one. Body scrub. That's it there. It smells like... Oh, I can't even describe the smell of it. It's so fresh. It just smells like you got out of like a bath. Um, and you just smell lovely. It's just gorgeous. It's my boyfriend's favourite smell as well. Like every time Paddy smells me, he's like, like, I know this sounds really weird, but he's like, oh, your skin smells so good. And then I got the refill for this. So the great thing about uh, Ritual is if you have the body creams, you can actually buy the refills. You don't have to buy this whole big thing, the tub. You can buy the refill and stick it into the tub, which if you didn't know that, it's great because my mum didn't know that and she threw hers out. I got her one as well. I got her the Ritual of Buddha, I think it was, which smells lovely. Then I got obviously my foaming shower gel, my favourite. I have one of these in my boyfriend's house as well, but I needed one for home. I got a deodorant. I just wanted to try it because I use different antiperspirant. I use the Shore one. I've never tried this one before, but I just thought maybe it might be, I don't know, just to, to see what it's like. Will it, you know, keep me not smelling sweaty <laughs> it's an antiperspirant and then it has like a deodorant scent to it as well so it does smell quite nice then i got this for free because i had spent sorry to get that for free i bought this they were like two euro they're a biodegradable cleansing wipe i just wanted to see what this was like it removes waterproof makeup and stuff like that i just want to see what these were like because if these actually work well i know there's only 10 wipes in it they were 250 but if this works well I would probably just go down the route, the route of getting these kind of biodegradable wipes. Or does anyone else know of anywhere that does biodegradable wipes? This is the Ritual of Namaste, Moringa and Holy Lotus. I haven't smelt that. But anyway, they sent me this for free then because I had spent over, I don't know, I think it was 60 euro. The Ritual of Karma, it's new, they said. It smells like Holy Lotus and organic white tea. It smells divine now i don't spray it in my hair or i wouldn't spray it in my hair because it'll stick my hair together i feel um but i would sp spray it like on my body it's a hair on body mist and it never occurred to me to get this ritual of shakura in that hair and body mist maybe after that one's gone i'll get it because what i usually do with this is use this obviously in the shower the body scrub then i get the foaming body wash and then i put the cream on and I just smell like this all day and it's so fresh and it like lingers and everything it's just so lovely but if I had gotten the hair and body mist of the Ritual of Shakura then it would last even longer but I do quite like the scent of that it's really 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 nice quite fresh I like the Ritual scents because they're really fresh and they smell natural there's no kind of like overly pungent smell of off them um they scent last all day and they're really really good products for moisturizing the skin and everything i just love them so i'm in the car <laughs> i am going oh my god these glasses are filthy so dirty i don't even have glasses cleaning with them they're just a bit smudgy not looking great anyway i'm going into town oh look at this okay i'll straighten up my straighten up my seatbelt i know you guys go crazy why i want this straighten up hang on maybe it's just me maybe i'm crooked Anyway, uh, that's the best I can do. So I'm going to Air, that's where I'm going, um, which is my phone provider, which has been my phone provider for like the last, I don't know, since I was like 13. Whenever I first got a phone, what age was I? 11? I was 11, so I've had Air since I was 11. And now I'm going in to get an upgrade because I'm due my upgrade since last September, but I never went and got it because I didn't know what I wanted. And now I've decided that I either want the X or, or the 11. Uh, obviously I'm gonna get an iPhone because everything I have is Apple. I'm not being like pretentious on my iPhone. My phone that I have now is an iPhone. My watch is Apple. My laptop is Apple. My iPad and they all sync up to each other so they all like can find each other and they hook up with each other. So I need, not I need, but I want to continue that. What is going on here? I'm sorry, I'm trying to find a good angle there. I think that's a bit better. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna get now is my new phone. Hopefully, 
um, it is the, like they have the one I want because I'm thinking that I want the 11 or the X, XOR, is it XOR or XC? I'm not really sure. The one that Patty has is really, really good and I think it's the X or something X anyway. I'll know when I get in there. I'm so bad with the iPhones now. I used to know everything about them, including like what they did, what was a different from the previous one, like the upgrade, everything. I used to know everything. But anyway, I have that phone that I have is a 6 plus and I've had that particular phone for two years I bought it second hand because if you remember when I was in China two years ago my phone got robbed so I had to go and just get like a cheap old phone in like a, a, a phone repair shop I think it cost me like 200 euro or something at the time it was unlocked and stuff like that which was grand so I've had that phone but it's crap it's a 16 gig and I thought at the time it was a 64 oh, no no I wanted a 64 and they had none in stock in the plus and I was not going back to a small phone now the battery is absolutely effed in it it has to be plugged in constantly it's like a landline it needs to be charged about six or seven times a day hopefully I can get the phone I want if I can't get the phone I want then I'll just wait because I'm under I understand like the stocks are probably low and stuff we are in a pandemic but the phone shops just recently opened so I am definitely going to try and get a phone and if I can't get one today I'll get one another day I'm listening to the radio at the moment they're actually just after saying that Netflix has taken Little Britain and come fly with me off because of the racism in it I don't mean to sound bad but I used to love Little Britain when I was like younger but everything went over my head I had no kind of I didn't really understand I kind of understand now like why they would take it off the air if you've never seen or take it off Netflix if you've never seen Little Britain like it's pretty pretty extreme like it's really extreme so I'm just after leaving my phone shop and the iPhone 11 is the one that I settled on but it won't be in until next week or the week after so I'm on like a waiting list yeah he asked me what color I wanted so I said like I wanted white first preference but I um, would take any color really to be fair I'm heading home now I did get a coffee in insomnia it's the only like coffee shop that's open around here so I um, had to run in and get one hey guys I forgot to to end today's vlog I'm so sorry I was in the car earlier talking about getting my car my car my new phone my battery died and now obviously it's night time now I'm actually going to bed right now so thank you so much guys for watching today's vlog I hope you enjoyed it and I'm going to try and vlog again tomorrow or the next day I didn't really do anything for the rest of the day I came home I did a bit of work and then I watched um the series The Secret She Keeps I think it's called it's an Australian series and it was on RT on Tuesday night and I just kind of got into it so I watched the whole series not really into it I thought it was crap basically about a woman who kidnaps a baby I just thought that the story just I don't know it just wasn't great I've definitely seen better series and it could have been done in much less episodes it was like six episodes which was like six hours long so I like watched it Tuesday night and then tonight's Wednesday so I watched like three hours of it last night and then three hours of it this evening so that's all I was doing all evening anyway I'm gonna hit the hay right now I will talk to all you guys tomorrow if I remember to vlog if not it'll be coming up soon I love you guys so much I'll talk to you then Mwah. bye guys